Dear students, now we are going to discuss Inmarsat in Satellite Communication. Inmarsat stands for International Maritime Satellite Organization which was established in the year 1979. Here maritime refers the marine related mobile services. Okay, so this Inmarsat is mainly used to control the satellite communication between ships and hostel areas and also to provide the emergency life-saving services to the distressed ship as well as distressed people. So simply we can say Inmarsat is mainly used to provide all kinds of services for maritime communication. Simply marine related mobile services. Do you all understand this one? So this is the overall picture of Inmarsat in satellite communication. So in this we are having important sections. One is space segment, ground facility segment, CES and ACES. So here in the space segment there are four satellites placed in geostationary orbit to cover the entire ocean. Okay, there are four satellites in geostationary orbit to cover the entire ocean ocean of the earth okay so next ground facility so ground facility means it needs to have a large number of fixed earth station as well as mobile earth station to support the satellite control system okay here ces that is hostel earth station it provides an interface between space segment and fixed national and international telecommunication networks. So it can provide the services through telephone, fax, data, telex. Okay. So these are the various services to be covered by this Inmarsat mobile services. Do you all understand this one? Here SES that is ship earth station. It is in a moving condition. Okay. So here the users can use the satellite phones, faximai, data terminals to make the connection between the ship and the coastal areas. Do you all understand this concept? So let's discuss each part in detail here. The important segments are space segment, ground facility, CES and SES. Okay. In space segment, there are four geostationary satellites placed at one of the four ocean regions. So we have to divide the ocean region of the earth into four regions Pacific Ocean, Indian Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, East Region, Atlantic Ocean, West Region. So two satellites for Atlantic Ocean East and West, one satellite over Pacific Ocean, another one over Indian Ocean. Okay, so there are four geostationary satellites used to provide the global coverage of ocean of the earth. Okay. So next ground support facility, it consists of a large number of fixed earth station as well as mobile earth station to provide the proper interconnection between satellite and the user. Okay, so Inmarsat network control center and satellite control centers, these two are very important to make a connection between the ocean and the subscribers. Okay. So subscribers means the user, end user. End user can use satellite phones, FASIMAI, TELEX and data terminals. Satellite phones and TELEX are used to make the receiver calls using Inmarsat network. So next one is host at the station. It provides an interface between space segment and fixed telecommunication network. So it is very important to provide the interface phase between the satellite section as well as ground section okay next ship earth station simply SES it is the satellite communication terminal in ship so it can be a satellite phone data terminal or telex available in the ship okay so here calls from the ship or to the ship are routed via satellite through CES so here ship is here 
So the terminals available in this ship that is the SCS. Okay. So here we can make a call from ship to satellite or we can receive the calls from the satellite only through this CES. Okay, because this hostel at the station is used to interconnect the satellite and the ground station. Okay, so here ground support facilities like international national telecommunication networks. So CES is very important to make an interface between space segment and international telecommunication system. Okay, so next safety services provided by this in Marset. There are two important devices used here to provide the safety services. The first one is distress message generator. Okay, so it will send the distress message including SES identity, position, nature of distress and speed. So in case of any emergency, for example, suppose the ship is sinking. What will happen immediately this distress message generator generates the message with the details of SES identity, position, nature of distress and speed to the satellite in Marset. From there, we can get the details through the CES and then take an immediate action to recover the people. Okay, so that is very important concept here. So the next one is EPIRB. So here emergency position indicating radio peacon. So here it automatically works when it flows. Okay, and also emits the radio signal that is picked up by the satellite and provides those information to the CES and the hostel areas. Okay, to take immediate action. Okay, these two are important safety services provided by this Inmarsat. So next, frequency ranges used in this Inmarsat applications. Here the transmission and reception between satellite and mobile terminal, that is satellite phones. It is in the range of L-band. Communication between Hostel at the station and satellite terminal is in the range of C-band. Here, if you want to make a call from ship to satellite, it is in the range of 1645.5 to 1646.5 megahertz. So, satellite to ship, it is 1544 to 1545. Finally, the advantages of Inmarsat. So, it is mainly used to provide the direct communication between ships and international networks. So, and also increased efficiency, automatic data transmission in case of any emergency in ship, a reduced operating cost and response time and mainly for safety services. Okay.